absolutely wonderful to be here in the great city of Glasgow when the sun is shining. Looking, Sister Elizabeth is saying she belongs to Glasgow. And it's particularly wonderful to look out and see, no offence guys, so many women here today. Because today is the day we put women at the heart of this general election campaign. I'm asking you today to sign the SNP Women's Pledge. And my pledge to you is that the SNP at Westminster will put women and gender equality right at the heart of the Westminster agenda. We'll campaign for better childcare, better education. We'll campaign to put an end to the Tory austerity and the Tory welfare cuts that are hurting so many women across our country. And we'll campaign for greater gender equality so that all of these wonderful we girls that I look out and see here with us today do not any longer have to fight the battle for fair and equal pay, for fair and equal representation because we are determined in our generation to win those battles for them. privileged to stand here today as the first woman first minister of our country and I, I want to make sure that every day I am privileged to hold this office I work to ensure that every woman every wee girl across this country gets the chance to do what I have done and follow their dream. If you are good enough, if you work hard enough, no glass ceiling should ever hold you back. So I, I look out here today at so many of our wee girls and I want to say to each and every one of you, if you want to be First Minister, if you want to be a brain surgeon, a top lawyer, whatever it is you want to do, Follow your dreams because you can do it. So that's my, 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 that's my message to all of you here today. But I've got a wider message today too. And this one is for all of Scotland. We stand now less than two weeks away from a historic general election. On May the 7th, we have the opportunity to make Scotland's voice heard at Westminster more loudly than it has ever been heard before. I pledge to you that the SNP will make Scotland stronger at Westminster. We will stand up for an end to austerity, for the protection of our public services for a stronger economy and we will stand clearly and say this with no equivocation 100 billion pounds if the country has it to spend should be spent not on nuclear weapons but on building a better future that lies before us. I want today to thank each and every one of you and the thousands more across this country who are campaigning in this election to make Scotland's voice heard. It is down to you, not to me, it is down to you that the SNP today stands within touching distance of doing something we have never done in our history, winning a Westminster election in Scotland. But in order, in order to do that, 
We must work each and every moment between now and 10 o'clock on the evening of May the 7th to win, earn and keep the trust of the Scottish people. We must say to everybody across this country, if you want your voice to be heard, then even if you've never voted SNP before, even if you didn't vote yes in the referendum, vote SNP now to make Scotland's mark and make our voice heard. That is our message. So I ask, I ask all of you, every day between now and polling day, to do whatever you can to make sure we win as many votes as we can and send as many SNP MPs to Westminster as we can. Please, whether it's knocking the doors or putting out the leaflets, stuffing the envelopes, whatever it is you can do, please, please do it. If we work as hard as we have ever worked before, then we can make this momentum unstoppable. And on May the 7th, if we if we work hard enough to win this election, then it will not be a victory for the SNP. It will be a victory for Scotland. Thank you very much indeed.